So, I mean, Orlando's the second fastest growing city in the country. So the metric wasn't difficult to see that population is booming there. Yeah. Florida has a very high water table, so there's no basements. And again, the HOAs don't allow for certain types of storage. So there's a need. Yeah. Right now, you know, once you once you identify the land, then you have to identify whether or not you can put storage on there. Um, the first big one that you're talking about that that we did, Sean took that through the entire entitlement phase and rezoned it. Right. Uh, the third one that we're building that we already own the land that we're closing out the raise on pretty soon here is uh, we bought that fully entitled. Wow. I just got the appraisal back uh, late last night. It was uh, congratulations on your baby. Here's our appraisal. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, we're all in that project for about 10.2 and they expect 14.7 valuation when we're done building it, which is like six months out. Yeah. Right. So not bad. Four and a half million dollars and we didn't even occupy it yet. They expect that we're worth about 18 million once we get it stabilized. So great project. Yeah. Um, and the feasibility report basically told us that, right? We spend money on feasibility reports. CubeSmart does a feasibility study. The bank does a feasibility study. Yeah. Everybody wants to know if this project's going to work, right? right? If you're buying in New Jersey and you say, oh, we're going to put 150,000 square feet, um, likely it's saturated already. Yeah. So you have to know that. But it's not, it's not rocket science. I think a lot of people get hung up on like, well, where am I going to invest? And how do I know if it's going to be good? You pay for that. I mean, yeah. you build that into your underwriting and you say, you know, are people moving in or out of this area, right? I mean, you have um, my partner, Travis, and our chief operating officer, Sean, are currently walking um, our project that we have under contract in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Columbus, Ohio has 2 million people in their MSA, and they expect it will be at 3 million by 2025. Jeez. Right? That's a big population growth. So yeah. we're looking to buy there. It's a yeah. area. Values are going up. So if we could buy some value add stuff with in place cash flow, then it's not uh, rocket science to figure out that the values are going to go up. Right. California, New York, and New Jersey are the top three exited states in the country. We don't invest there. Right. right? <laughs> yes, people move there, and yes, there's a lot of people there. So they'll be continue to be born there. Yeah. But a mass exodus of people leaving the state is not a good sign. Yeah. So, you know, and people will invest in Manhattan forever, but I don't, you know, we, there's no cash flow there, right? You're right. a bank on appreciation. So your grandkids will be rich. Congratulations. But we need cash flow now. Right. So we look in the Midwest and Southeast, which is where typically populations are going. So yeah. to answer your, your question, you know, it's, it's just looking at economic drivers, right? Population growth, job growth, job diversity. Um, Will the, will the project get supported? I mean, it's much better to spend $10,000 on a feasibility study and say no than it is to spend $14 million and it not work. So, exactly. you know, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, you just need good consultants and a good team. That's what I love about this space even more so than residential is you get to rely on a lot of other people. You don't have to be the smartest guy in the room because the deal will absorb you hiring the smartest guy. 